Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play the Kavakan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5. Okay, opponents draw the bishop, so do we. Pawn to e6, nice so string, playing fast. Maybe expecting a pawn break. Interesting. If I take, he takes, I take, he takes. Lots of exchanging is gonna happen how is queen here as a check he can't go back and defend to start off with let's see idea is if he tries to go back i can take back with the bishop okay so we have spoiled this castling Now if I take and he takes, I lose two pieces. Hmm. I think we've got a problem. Let's try and address the same. I'll go here, give a check. Let's see what he saves with. For the queen. I take. Okay, still my couple of pieces are under attack. And I doubt I can defend both. So I'll take this. I can now save one of them, which is the light square bishop. I'll get back. Um I have to make a retrieval square. Only way. This was losing uh, the e6. He takes. I take back. If forward, I lose the pawn. I'll go here for now. Trying to hang out on to that weakness. I let him take if he wants to. Pick up the knight, get the rook active, knight defends the pawn as well. So looks fine for now. Um, I can take and exchange the rooks. Now I can develop the knight. Knight here um, looks kind of trapped, but I can go here then next. If here, then here. Trying to tank the bishop. I'll go here only. Let's wait. Let's see what the open does. You can have a pawn break as well in the center. Okay, let's take it. Uh, rook here will not make much difference. Actually, I should go down straight away. Uh, but the problem is knight is coming here. Can I stop? And down that. Let's go down for the begin to begin with. This is guarded for now. Rook here would mean some attack. Can play um, c5 as well. Now more so. Okay, he proceeds. I'll take. Takes back and I'll now attack the bishop. Trying to give a check maybe next if he saves the bishop somewhere else. The pawn can be a weakening. 
Okay, I should take this now. Or I should go here, then he comes up. I go here. Well, let's take. Okay. You go on with the rook. Attacking the knight. Knight probably comes here, maybe trying to take my pawn, which I can safeguard. Yep. Um, should I start with a check? Let's do it. He comes towards the rook, and I can. Okay. I come here with the idea if he tries to take my pawn, I take his. Might exchange rooks. Yep, that's what he's planning now. Okay, I can still. No, I can't take. But I let him take so that at least my pawn starts to get sorted. Meanwhile, I'll save my b pawn as well. Rook here doesn't do much unless he plays pawn next move. Okay, I'll go up. Can I also take this considering this pawn is a big threat. There's nothing controlling it. I let him take and I'll take back. Okay. I just want him to play this somehow. Doesn't. It's coming down now, trying to gobble the pawn. Hmm. Can I move this forward? I can. If he takes, I take this. I can go up. Uh, this can be problematic, no, not really. Um, it's only two places. If I go back, you can keep it. You can take the pawn and then I go up. Um, yes, let's try it. Lose not in time as well. Now he might get the rook here, he doesn't, okay, I'll take, need to just hang on to a few pawns, I'll take this, hmm, kind of an equal situation but his pawns are advanced so I have to be a bit worried about that, rook here, You can play pawn forward as well. I have to go this side so that I'm close to the pawn. Do a check. Move my pawn up. And one more. And that's it. can push his if he wants to doesn't I give a check come back can get a draw here okay take so does he I think I can win this now I'm just trying to push him to the corner where I can go now and
and take this pawn and get the opposition. Hmm? Yes, now it's not stopping. Ah, time. That was close. Managed to get a draw, not bad. Was losing at multiple times. 62 moves, that's huge. In what, five minutes of game? Completely winning for sure. But didn't have the time on the clock. Let's analyze the game. Side off with d4, c6. I was playing the card of Khan defense. Opponent plays knight c3, I play d5. A bishop comes on f4. I develop the bishop on f5. Uh, solid pawn structure by the opponent as well. I play d6 next. Uh, this is weakening, I would say. You should not play uh, f3 because that loses the control of squares at the king side. I try to exchange the bishop here and the right move is to take the bishop but I became a bit greedy there. Went the check. Uh, and then I try to pursue it and then exchange queens off the board. And then I had to take the bishop. He takes back with the knight. I have to push back my bishop. Then create a retrieval square. He does take. And then he gets the bishop there. Yes, I can defend with the knight or the king. I went with the king. Uh, then the knight. And he proceeds with the pawn forward. I take it. Let him take. I take the rook. He does take back. Knight comes to d7. The right square for the knight. Knight goes back. I continue exchanging some pawns. Got my king back. Oh, opponent had a good move. Bishop here. Because I can't defend the pawn much longer. Uh, of course, this would be bad because rook can come in as well. Uh, knight can also hop in, creating extra pressure on uh, e6. So that can be problematic. But he instead played c4 and I respond with c5. Asking him to take, he doesn't, he proceeds and I take now, he takes back. I go on with the knight trying to exchange the light for bishop which the opponent had and we do exchange. Uh, then I go with rook on f8 trying to attack the knight, knight comes up, I give a check. This goes there, I try to hang on to the pawns. Computer saying you can take here but my idea was if he does take later on, uh, I get to take with the pawn and my pawn is a little better. Uh, so yeah, if he now takes, I can take with the pawn was my plan. Ah, then I lose this and he proceeds and I can stop. Okay. So thankfully that didn't happen in the game. <laughs> Otherwise I would have been in bigger troubles. We proceeded. Uh, he played, he captured the pawn there on b6. I take back. Try to get around from the other side of the board. Uh, I pushed b5. He comes down. I go up. So here the opponent is doing right things. Where did he do the mistake? Oh, that was mate. He missed mate in one. That was checkmate. The all all the squares are controlled. This is by knight. I cannot, of course, come in the last rank. Uh, e6 is guarded with the spawn, and so is f6. So that was a checkmate in one. He missed it. But he took on the knight. And I take back. Still, he has the advantage, but doesn't take the pawn. I take back. He does. And then I get the pawn back. Still, if you see, opponent is winning, but he doesn't go for the pawn. Capture. I go up, uh, then trying to move towards the uh, place where the pawns are there. So, always make sure that your king is towards the opponent's pawns in the end game. I'm just trying to give check and proceed with my pawn as well so that uh, this can be troublesome for the opponent later on. There was a time when I'm seeing opponent got ahead in the game. Oh, 3.9 because now he can come around and uh, capture the C pawn as well because my rook won't be able to defend it. If I go here, he comes down and then I can't take this pawn. I can't proceed this and I cannot go on this uh, rank as well. So I have to move my king somewhere 
and he gets to have the pawn and that's winning so he had to he had multiple chances in the game to make come back he pushes the pawn forward i take with the rook and he exchanges the rook he should have gone with the, with the pawn so that at least everything is same on the board and he can still manage a draw but i don't know what he was looking forward to but he exchanged and then i just started pushing my king first and push my pawn as well but then he goes there and then computer saying okay now you go with your king and after he takes you go to the other pawn and if he takes of course you're gonna win it because he cannot come back in time you can just try to create this lovely little gap between the kings and just proceed with the pawn so this was again winning and that's what i did actually at the end uh try to just distract him uh and then went for the other pawn that's called fox in the chicken coop uh, technique of the end game and then playing the king first trying to take control of all the squares whatever possible and now there's no way that um, this pawn can be stopped that's what happens in the game i just went on the pawn got the queen on the board but that was the uh, end of the time and since opponent didn't have any 